Hello, hello, well, hello, <laughs> welcome back, well done to you for coming back, <laughs> it's great to have you back here on Celtic Connection Campus, can't believe, it's been three years since we've seen all you, this is like having all my pals in the room, it's brilliant, <laughs> Just especially this maverick front row, but more of them later on, <laughs> but we have three fantastic acts for you and two of them are ready, or one of them are ready, ready to go here, so we're not going to keep them back, so this is the wonderful Christina Lisek and Eleanor Dunstan, very international from England and Sweden. We embrace everybody here. So it's great to have them. So put your hands together for Christina and Eleanor.
Thank you so much. Um, we're so happy to be here today and see all of you here. Um, I'm Christina Lysik and yeah, this is Eleanor Dunstan. And uh, we're going to play some Swedish music, but also some Scottish music for you. And uh, this song was an old choral from Sweden from the 1600s um, called Nu har denna dag that we put together with a tune from Shetland. So we're going to continue 
now uh, with uh, three jigs um, from the Highlands. Um, the first one is um, after Ewan Henderson, and the second one is uh, after Fraser Sean, and the third one is after Mike Bass. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to continue now with uh, two of my own tunes. Um, yeah, during my time here in Scotland, I've been trying to compose and get inspired from my, from my time here. So um, the first, time, first tune we're going to play is called uh, Walking in Glasgow. And the second tune is um, 
It's called Smack Polska and it's like a punchy Polska. <laughs> Um, we will finish I think we'll do one more if, if we've got time um, we've got um, a song for you um, and this was brought to me by Christina I'd heard it before and we think we'd, we'd heard different versions and we'd really liked this song separately um, it's called The King's Shilling 
Um, I thought it was a traditional Scottish tune, it's actually not. <laughs> um, and as you can hear, I'm definitely not Scottish either, so <laughs> um, <laughs> even though we're playing lots of Swedish and Scottish tunes, um, we both study together um, uh, doing lots of traditional music, so um, all these tunes and songs have brought us together, um, which is nice. But this is a not a particularly happy song. We've <laughs> tried to find... Um, some some nice things within it, but um, it's basically an anti-war song, I think. But thank you so much for listening to us. Um, it's been really lovely. Thank you, thank you to Celtic Connections and to Patrick and to Greg and everyone doing the sound and the lighting here. Um, it's been a really lovely experience. Thank you all for coming along and enjoy the rest of the festival. <laughs> I should have done this before, shouldn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs>
Hello. Let's hear it again for Eleanor Christina. Yeah, what, what a great start to day one of Celtic Connections on campus. Fantastic duo we have there. So uh, this is the point I kind of speak about nonsense, so just bear with us. I think if you're watching it online, just pause it and go wait, make, make a bit of cup of tea. Um, but just to welcome you to, to Glasgow Caldo University, my name is Patrick Cunn, I'm a lecturer here, and uh, I'm kind of responsible for, for uh, I suppose, pulling all this together, uh, if it can work. I think it's working. Is it working? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's my pals there at the front row. Um, so just remember, we're, we're also going live out on Celtic Music Radio and another radio station, which is <laughs> the new community radio as well. We also go out live on that, so it's fantastic. And this year we're also out on Tri TV. So a big thank you to Celtic Music Radio and to Tri TV for Dougal and Findlay are here with us actually helping us out. That's fantastic. Now, I'm sure you're going to want to find out more about those acts. So if you go to the Celtic Music Radio page, there's details all about the acts, including the ones for today and the whole week, actually, that we've got here, and also on our Facebook page. So anyway, I'm not going to talk any more drivel. I'm going to get the stage turned around for our next act, and uh, we've got three fantastic acts for us. Uh, to, oh, what, there was one thing I was going to say to you. Because the front row are so photogenic, have you met the front row? The front, they go to everything that's sitting in the front row. We've got a special camera just there to pick them up for Trad TV. We felt it was really, really suitable. <laughs> really suitable. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be back with an actor a wee minute. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere.
welcome, welcome. Okay, there we are. It doesn't work till the lights come on, that's what happens to the sound. Um, yes, it's our second act today. Um, who, if you've been here before, who's been here before? Loads of you. I don't know if you remember Liam from quite a few years ago, actually, and he was here with us a couple of times, so I'm delighted to welcome back Liam Ross to the stage. Give him back a big round of applause. Slow down now, I'm going to slow down. 
My name's Liam Ross. I'm from Invergordon up in the Highlands, like 20 miles past Inverness. And I'd like to do a little song that I wrote during lockdown, but this comes with a story. Are we okay for a story? Have you got time for that? Thank you at the back. Thank you. You're my favorite. <clears throat> so to get through lockdown, it was very claustrophobic, even though living in the Highlands with great outdoors and all the rest of it. It was very claustrophobic. So I decided to invest in a folding bike. There was no need to laugh. I invested in a folding bike. I went to Dingwall Auction Mart. Uh, I've never been to an auction before, but I only paid £100 over what I was intending to. But that's not important because what's important is that I got the bike and the old woman at the back that was outbidding me never got it. That's all that was important. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So uh, I wrote this song. I used to cycle between Invergordon, Alness, and back again on a lovely cycle path. You can see the Black Isle, you can see the oil rigs, the Cromartie Firth, the whole shebang. It's really lovely. And I tried to get this into a song here. <coughs> so um, imagine me and my folding bike. It's blue. And um, yeah, imagine me on my folding bike as I'm playing this song. Wind, birds, boy racers zooming quite fast beside me the whole shebang. This is called Sea Salt Smell. Thank you. So uh, I decided this is another lockdown song. This is a cover. I seen Julie Fowlis um, play the song on the internet on YouTube, and I thought it was a lovely cover. And I thought I would try the same. So if you know the words, sing along. But the deal is, you only have to sing in time and in tune. Please note that I am not singing in my set tonight, today.
I get everyone to join along. It's okay, it's nothing crazy. Just a 10 minute vocal solo. Can you all get your hands together? Come on, there's people on the radio listening to this, making sound that there's tons of people here. It's hot up here. So uh, I've been Liam Ross. It's been a pleasure playing for you all. This is going to be my last tune. This is a new tune that I've not really played live before. I uh, wrote this song after climbing Ben Withis, a hill close to uh, Invergordon. <coughs> and I climbed this with my pal Sean from Dundee. It was a lovely day. It was hard going. We got to the top and we seen Absolutely nothing, because it was raining. <clears throat> but that's not really the uh, important part. The destination isn't the important part. It's more the journey. And uh, we sat at the top drinking whiskey and beer. And by the end of it, I felt a closer relationship to the landscape that I've grown up with. So uh, this is called Walking Up the Bay. Thank you.
Jim Ross. I'll be standing over there next to my CDs, looking hungry. Now, seriously, thanks very much for uh, listening to me. Thanks to Patrick, thanks to Brian. Let's let's see it. Let's see it again for Liam Ross. <laughs> Wonderful to have you back on the stage, Liam. Thank you very much. Right, we're going to set the stage up for our final act today. But just before that, I've got a few little thank yous. As you imagine, this doesn't all happen without a lot of help from folk. So a big thank you to the warehouse, to Baxter Story for feeding us. That's an important thing. I actually keep us all going. Uh, DB Audio Wear for doing the lighting. Isn't the lighting good? Isn't the lighting amazing? And the guys who work for DB Audio, or, or who are DB Audio, Brian and Dave, are here, who wrote the software. We're using their software and they're showing our students. So big thank you to Brian and Dave for that. Chad TV, I mentioned them. Diggle and Findlay are here for that. And uh, Celtic Connections have been great in terms of supporting us this year as well for what we do. So we're going to, do, we're going to turn our stage around for our final act. So don't go away unless it's just maybe to powder your nose or to get a... I don't know what the soup situation is. Did we find out? We have got soup. Yeah, that's the usual thing. Liz likes to comment on that in the Danny Kyle open stage. We do have soup, so you can go and get yourself a bowl of soup and we'll be back up with our final act. So don't go away much further than just up there or there because we're, we're watching you. Remember, we've got that camera. We're watching you. Okay, see you for the final act.
Hello again. Hello. Although there's my lights on. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you a story about the lights later. Um, what was I going to say to you? I was going to say something to you. I was going to introduce our next act. That's what I was going to do. I think that's what I was... <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are you doing in my living room? Um, <laughs> so, welcome back. Have you had a good time so far? Yeah. That's going to be a fantastic start. Delighted to have. But we're delighted to have... Now, so Liam has been with us a few years ago and he came a couple of times. Remember to go and see his merchandise. But the next act that we've got, Mist and Wing, they were very good to put in a video a couple of years ago. I don't know if you watched their online version. So they featured on Kelth Connection Campus two years ago. So I'm absolutely delighted to have them back here on the stage. So put your hands together for Mist and Wing. Thank you. Hello. This song is called Step Into the Light. But you know that, don't you? And behind the lies, you dance around the truth until your legs can't hold you. Ooh, remember what I told you? I'll hold you steady, baby, till your heart is ready. Passing down the road, I wonder by the river where we walk together. And though I feel alone, there's something in the memory that shines like treasure. Ooh, those words, they last forever. to see from back there but it's full this is great are you having a good time yeah. excellent so are we this is lovely so we're gonna carry on with a song called fade um this is pretty much brand new really we haven't even released it properly so you're some of the first people that are ever gonna get to hear this live Ooh, very exciting um so um al is from sky from the isle of sky and this song is about a story an old story from sky um about a place called the cave of gold 
Um, and there's a whole long folk story that I'm not going to go into because we'll be here until like seven o'clock if I do. Um, but mm -hmm. aye, it's it's a story of. I suppose you could say there's a little bit of greed in there. There's a little bit of valor. Um, there's a cave. There's some gold. <laughs> and there's a piper who, who's kind of keen on the gold. That's a, yeah, I, I think, think that's do. a short version. Yeah. <laughs> This is fate. Deep in his mind, a glint of gold. A story repeated. Are you up for a sing-along? Oh, that was a little bit pathetic. <laughs> Are you up for a sing-along? <laughs> there we go. So this song is called Weather the Storm, and um, it, it's just about rough seas, really, about difficult times. Um, we ended up finishing it during lockdown, and it kind of became a bit of a lockdown anthem, you know, something that a lot of our listeners could relate to. Um, and the chorus goes like this. <laughs> we barely know Oh, um. 
bit more than that, I think. It comes around a few times, so you know what to do. Oh, of course, yeah. So the words are, we barely know what hit us, and we don't know what's to come, but we always weather the storm. And the song is called Weather the Storm. I think that's the slickest we've ever done that. I usually forget and I stay at the piano and then think, oh no, I need to move, I need to change instruments. 
Um, so this next song is called Easier Alone. Wasn't actually written during lockdown, although that might have been quite um, sort of, well, maybe funny's a bit too strong. Tongue in cheek, you know. Um, it was actually written in Lewis a fair few years ago um, with a guy called Willie Campbell. Um, he's in Astrid, if you've heard of him. Um, and there was about eight or nine other people in the room. It was the biggest co-write we've ever done. Ironically, the song ended up being called Easier Alone. <laughs> Not sure how much you should read into that. It was a nice, it was a nice session. Nobody hates each other from that session. Oh, yeah, we grand. had a good time. Yeah. Had, I don't know how the, we ended up with a song called Easier Alone. <laughs> but, but there you go. Yeah. Um, we hope you enjoy it. I think for safety, I'm just going to move slightly to the left here.
Cheers. Well, I think we've got time for one more. What do you reckon? Yes? All right, then. Uh, we'll finish with uh, one of our oldest songs, one of our favorites. It's called Country Mile. Um, it's the lead single off of our brand new EP, which we will be selling over at the merch desk. Do come and say hello after the gig. We'd love to meet you. Um, and we'd love to sell you some CDs if you feel like it. Um, so you can find the music video for this on our YouTube channel. We had the absolute joy of hiring a Triumph Herald and driving it all the way from Bridge of Orkey up to the north of Skye, which was, I mean, it's come out really well. It looks beautiful. You really enjoyed driving it. Passengering was an interesting experience. It's lovely to drive. <laughs> it's just, uh, uh, it's quite uncomfortable to ride in. Yeah, it's very happily have one of those for <laughs> just a regular car, but yeah. it wouldn't be very... Not very useful. We wouldn't be able to fit all our stuff. No, <laughs> a PA system and a piano and stuff. Now we've got an estate car, like pretty much all the musicians. Aye, so yeah, it, I mean, it was beautiful, and you can see the, the video um, on our, our socials and on our YouTube. I would recommend giving it a, a watch. Um, we're Mist and Wing. Thank you very much for having us. This has been fantastic. Thank you to Patrick. Thank you to Greg, the whole team. This has been wonderful. And thank you to you for listening. This is Country Mile. Let's hear it again from Mr. Wing. Wasn't that fantastic?
Right, what a great start to our seventh, this is our seventh version of Celtic Indications and Campus. Bro, we quickly th say thank you to everybody at Caledonian University, especially the Student Association. Big thank you to Greg. If you remember William, who used to come along do this, this is Greg is the new William. William is doing other things, not that he's, he's still very much with us, but he's doing other things. So big hand to, to Greg, please show your appreciation. He's done a fantastic job. And finally, this Celtic Connection on Campus is all about experience for the students. So big hand for the GCU students. I've done the lighting, sound, streaming, everything for your delight. And also, I think you should give yourself a round of applause. I think you've done really well to come back and experience with us. So big, give yourself a big round of applause for being here. You're a fantastic, fantastic audience. So let's hear it for our artists. We started off there with Christina Lisek and Eleanor Dusden. Wonderful Liam Ross. And then we had finally with Mr. and Wing. Remember to catch them out as you're heading out there. This has been Celtic Connections on Campus Day One. We're back here again to do it all again. See you tomorrow. <laughs>